Embrace the suck to fulfill your dreams. Today, we're gonna to talk about why pain is an absolute requirement for filling progress. Welcome to today's episode with myself, Connor Anderton. It is your daily book kicking back for another episode. If you don't know who I am, by the way, and you are new to the podcast, my name is Connor Anderton. I'm an online coach of 10 years where I specialize in getting regular guys, crazy physique transformations, and getting them incredibly strong in the process. Now, let's get into today's episode, embracing the suck to fulfill your dreams. That is that is the goal. That is one of the things I wish more of us could understand and more of us are willing to go through. Now, again, I come from mass experience of coaching probably upwards of a thousand people at this point over the last decade. A lot of people talk numbers very arbitrarily and I do not. I've been through the process of people quitting a lot, right? Clients quitting. Um, training partners queen, whatever it might be. And the people who make it, the people who have the great physiques, the people who get incredibly strong, the people who get incredibly fit, the people who stand the test of time are the people who are willing to embrace the suck. Now, what does embracing the suck mean? It means finding comfort, finding enjoyment in pain, finding enjoyment in stuff that doesn't feel good and I can't put it any other way the people who can find fulfillment and enjoyment in things that don't feel good are the people who are going to get further in life in general not just in fitness not just with your physique not just with strength but with family with business with hobbies with friendships right if you're willing to just go through a little bit more than the person next to you then you're going to get further. Now tell me, let's give an example. If you are training and you are bench pressing, squatting, deadlift, whatever, and you are willing to push an extra rep every single day than the person stood next to you, who is going to progress more? I'll leave that one with you, but I know you know the answer. So this translates into everyday life. This translates into your daily habits. This translates into your work ethic everything. The person who is willing to get up on the first alarm and not hit snooze is has more time in their day to achieve stuff. The person who hits snooze is a step behind. Simple. The person who, hit, who hits snooze twice is two steps behind. The person who is willing to spend the extra five minutes on the Stirmaster, okay, is going to get better fat loss. <laughs> the person who is willing to run the extra mile is going to be fitter. We could, I could give you a million examples to this, but I want to talk about mainly as to why we should embrace the suck and why we shouldn't shy away from it. Everything that, that feels good in life, and the majority of this podcast, I talk about what feels good, and I think that's really important. Too, too much of today, we get caught up in, in mindlessly numbing our brains and having dopamine hits through social media and other other avenues, TV, whatever, computer games, I don't know. But we need to we need to take another step in a different direction and come back to what feels good. And a huge part of what feels good is achieving things. And it only has to be little wins. I talked about this in one of the podcasts last last week. Like it doesn't have to be major breakthroughs. Things just have to be small wins. And this is the same with embracing the suck. Small little wins throughout the day that suck a little bit lead to this mass progress. And one of the things that might suck a little bit is meal prep <laughs> or cooking a healthy breakfast rather than having a bowl of cereal. I would argue this is embracing the suck in a very, very small way. It doesn't have to be David Goggins running 100 miles, okay? There's different layers to this, and the, but the layers, like anything, build up. We start with one layer, we end up with 100 layers. You see where I'm going with it? But one of the layers is getting up on your alarm clock. Another layer is meal prepping. Another layer is cooking a healthy breakfast. Another layer is spending an extra five minutes on the Stirmaster if that is the goal. 
another layer is getting an extra rep before you quit. It all stacks up. If you start to implement these little bits, these little factors into your life, these are the things that are going to turn you into a winner. They're going to help you achieve your goals. You're going to be mentally in such a better position. And again, I say this from experience where I might have clients who have a really bad week and not because anything has come about, not because they've been busy and done all X, Y, and Z, but because they've not commit. And they know they've not committed and they've admitted that. And they've told me mentally, it's been a terrible week because they know they could be doing better. Now, fast forward to the week after and they absolutely nail it and commit. What happens? I get feedback saying, Connor, my mental health has been in such a better place. Why don't I do this more? Don't know about you, but I'd rather go through life with very good mental health, knowing that I'm working hard on myself, knowing that I'm doing the things that I said I would do, committing to the things I said I would commit to, rather than being a person who is full of excuses, feels legitimately shit about themselves, and allows that to span into other parts of their life. That's not for me. And if you listen to this podcast, that's not for you. That is why you're here. That's why you've read the title and gone, yeah, I'm going to see what this is all about. So if you're at a point where you're not currently embracing the suck, do it. You have to start right now. It cannot wait. It's, what day is it? It's Tuesday today. So what we need to do is go right now. Do not wait till Monday. If you do that, the you are not embracing the suck. Part of embracing the suck is starting immediately. Like I said, do things immediately. Do not allow things to build up because mentally, this is where you will cycle around and start to feel worse and worse and worse about yourself. Get up right now, commit. Think about one thing that you need to do right now. Go on, I'll let you think. Got it? Go and do it. Okay, after you've listened to this, put your phone down, go and do it. And that is step one. That's building them layers. If you can do that, it will translate into other parts of your life. You'll be a better person, you'll be a better partner, you'll be a better training partner, you'll be better at work, better business, whatever it might be. But you have to start with these little wins, okay? Little wins, major breakthroughs, as I always say. So give this a go. Embrace the suck, guys. Feel crap. And what I say by feeling crap is running that extra mile doesn't feel good. Doing that extra five minutes on the stone mass, it doesn't feel good. But do you know when it does feel good? When you've finished Okay, keep the finish line in mind because you will be proud of yourself knowing you stayed at it, didn't quit and achieved that extra little bit for the day. So go and do it. No messing around. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode and it's going to be another ass kicking as we do.